We're at Celador Ales in the San Fernando Valley. This is located in North Hills, and this one's a little bit more fancy. They do some really interesting ales here. So if you like the more trendy, maybe hippie, experimental type beers, fruity beers and stuff like that, this place would probably be a good choice for you. And I'm looking forward to, to trying these out. So basically they have these pours. That is what you can get while you're here. And if you get a fill, this is where you can bring your own container and then they fill it for you. And then they also have bottles to go. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of these uh, fruity beers. They don't do flights here, which was interesting because I think they're a little bit more fancy. They also don't do trays or anything like that. So they, I guess, recommended that we go in and buy one at a time, but I wanted to do a taster. The guy who was working inside was pretty friendly and he was nice enough to help bring these out. So here goes nothing. All right, this one's the Saison du Rossier. It's a little fruity, not too strong, but it's got a refreshing taste, and I think that's what hits you first. It's almost like a soda type beer. So it has a crisp taste to it, which is great if it's hot and you drink one of these. I think this goes great with the California uh, sunshine and the warmth that we have, and right now it is perfect weather. It's probably in the low 70s, and the sun just sat, you know, set below the horizon. So I think a really good choice. Again, the Saison du Rosier, if I pronounce that right. If you're French, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Here is the only sort of traditional beer in the entire place. This is a Pilsner. If you've seen any of my Germany videos, then you know I love uh, German Pilsners. And so that'll be the big taste test here, the big, you know, experiment. Let's see what this one tastes like. Pretty good. Pretty good. Maybe we'd say close enough, you know, at least for, for American breweries. They did a decent job with that one. I like it. So if you just want a normal smooth beer, I say go for this one. Okay, so I asked them for the most popular fruity drink that they had, and that's this one here. And you can see it's a lot more orange. And this one is called a Select 10 Blend. It has wild ale with apricot pits, guava, and kiwi. So I'm doing this for you because I know some of you like more fruity type ales. Not as fruity as I thought, but it still has a strong taste, a little sour. So it's not bad, not my thing, but it's not bad. Uh, not as fruity as I thought, again, but a little sour taste to it. And then finally, the wit beer, another probably middle of the road beer. This one is rustic wheat ale with orange and coriander, which sounds pretty good. So probably for people that are not as experimental, this might be one for you. Ooh, look okay, at that one's strong. That one's a very strong taste. But you can taste the coriander in there and, and the orange zest. So uh, if you don't like really strong tasting beer, it might not be the one for you. I would say out of these four, if we get rid of the Pilsner because it's, it's a standard beer, I would say my favorite is this one, the Saison Rosier, because of the crispness that goes well with the uh, sitting outside in a summer uh, evening. So pretty good, my favorite out of the four. Well, out of the three. All right, so I've been here for a few minutes and I'm still drinking the wit beer, which is the one that has the orange and coriander, orange zest and coriander, and it's super, super sour. The interesting thing about this one is the taste gets stronger the more I drink it. So I never let a drink go to waste. All right. And then it like lingers. So it's, yeah, you, you should try it if you like experimenting, but here's the thing, I gotta, I gotta finish it because I wanna eat. Oh, I'm gonna have heartburn after that. Oh. Next time I'll bring Tums. Just uh, ordered the last two beers, and before I drink those, I want to be clear and qualify my statement from before about um, some of the sourness of, of the one, one of the beers I had. Before I came out here, 
I actually brushed my teeth and haven't really eaten anything in between, so it's possible that uh, me brushing my teeth actually made the beer taste a little bit more sour than it was, and that was the wit beer. So I still recommend uh, trying the wit beer when you're here. So these are the last two that I'm gonna try here tonight. The sun went down and there's no more twilight or, or uh, you know, whatever you call it, rays left from the sun. And we're sitting outside and we're in an area where there's not a lot of light. Anyways, it's getting a little bit later and it's dark out. Anyways, I went for the strongest beer that they have on the menu. Holy shit, I'm blind. Hybrid wild ale with petite Syrah and Pinot Noir grapes. Okay, it's called Dead Crush Solera. This is 11%. It's also their most expensive beer. And if you can see this a little bit in the light, this is a very dark reddish, dark reddish beer. It's like a wine ale. So that's why it's so strong because it's about half wine and half beer. Really not that bad though, it's refreshing. It's got a fruity taste to it from the grapes, but strong. And then finally, to top it all off, and I'm gonna try this now, this is, I asked for his smoothest beer. So this is called Rolling, 6%, Rustic Wild Ale with Guava, and he said this is one of the smoothest ones they have. Wow, you can taste the guava. If you like guava, get this one. It is smooth, fruity, um, not bad, not bad. My favorite probably still the Pilsner, just because I'm a kind of a traditional guy. So we just got our raclette, which is a Swiss or French cheese that's easily melted and that you can actually do at home if you want. There's raclette machines that you can get and something that I really, really loved growing up. And you can uh, pour it over meats and pour it over vegetables. It's absolutely delicious. And tonight we found out that they were actually serving raclette here. They usually don't serve food. They actually have menus where you can order food in. So you can order Uber Eats or something like that. So here's our raclette. It looks delicious. This one's uh, vegetarian, but uh, with the cheese. And then they also have one with prosciutto. We got it without prosciutto. Look at that. Look at that cheese. That is some good cheese. Mm. Oh. It's so hot and so good. Oh, I haven't had raclette before. I do recommend it. It's absolutely delicious. It's got a little burnt taste to it. Not taste, but they kind of charred cheese on the side. So you have this consistency of melted cheese and a little crunchiness, which is absolutely phenomenal. Highly recommended. Oh, and the guy doing the raclette was a co-owner and he was a super nice guy. So come down check it out and enjoy you can sit outside or indoors and enjoy either the music inside or the nice california weather outside but for me thumbs up so we'll see you at the next one